Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Z and you're watching Dr. Z PhD, the place to be for expert info on gender. Today I would like to discuss with you surgical transition for trans women in detail. I'm going to outline for you what are some of the major gender affirming surgeries involved. Also keep in mind that surgical transition is not for everyone and not everyone goes through a surgical transition in order to transition. In addition, some people may choose one or two surgeries while others may want to have more. Again, to be clear, surgical transition is now no way mandatory step in transition because transition after all is a highly individualized process. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel so that way you don't miss out on any new content coming from me. Okay, let's discuss surgical transition in detail and what procedures it may entail. Well, breast augmentation is a surgical procedure of breast enhancement. And if you are considering this procedure, you may want to watch my previous video on four essential tips for breast augmentation that I'm going to link below for you. In general, there are two types of implants currently used in the United States, silicone and saline, and your doctor will help you decide which implant is best for you. I have also written a blog on silicon versus saline linked below as well to help you see what's the difference. Breast augmentation is generally one of the first surgical procedures people tend to go through, and that's primarily because the healing time is quicker than some of the other procedures. Facial feminization surgery is a surgery that helps feminize facial features. The type of facial feminization can range from mild to a more complicated procedure and can involve cheek implants, forehead reduction, brow lift, nose job, and jaw reconstruction, just to name a few procedures, including the uh, trans hair transplant. And if you are thinking about facial feminization surgery, having a doctor skilled at maxillofacial or craniofacial surgery is important, and I have also written a blog on this subject linked below. Tracheal shave or Adam's apple shave also falls in the category of facial feminization surgery. Vocal surgery to feminize voice is also available for people transitioning, but it's still a very risky option and may have negative outcome versus positive. So as always, make sure you discuss everything with your doctor and do your own thorough research. In addition to facial feminization, some people seek body contouring feminization surgery. This procedure can range in options and in depths on what you really want to do with your body, and your doctor will help you to decide as well. And finally, there is gender-affirming surgery, also known as bottom surgery. And some people prefer orchiectomy without undergoing vaginoplasty, orchiectomy which is removal of testes. Again, there is no one-size-fits-all, since transition is highly individualized process. Some people may prefer vaginoplasty, which is creation of new vagina. This can fall into various categories of procedures. In general, penile inversion technique tends to be standard within United States territory. Other techniques such as sigmoid colon, peritoneal pull-through, or non-penile inversion are also available, as well as zero-depth vaginoplasty, which is essentially a vagina without a depth canal. As always, a good discussion with your medical doctor is incredibly important here. And for assistance, please see a link below article I wrote on how to be a better informed consumer when you're looking for surgeon. So there you go, surgical transition in, and types of procedures involved in detail. If you had any of the surgeries or planning to have any of the surgeries and you would like to comment below, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you all next Friday. Bye.